Hi. Have you ever believed that you can add your own function to Google Sheet? In this Google Sheet, for example, I have three functions. One of them is very simple, just to get the next value. So if I type the next, so the next after 10 is 11. Uh, if I use double, it will multiply the number by two. And a little bit amazing one, it will calculate the sum of the parts. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 8, 10, the result will be 55. So how we can add our own function to a Google Sheet? I will start a new Google Sheet file. I will rename this file. To add your function, you need a script file. So from tools, a script editor. The concept is very simple. We are going to add our own function here. So let's add function. This function will take only one number. So I will use X. This is a function. So we need to open and close a curly bracket. So this function will return X by X. So if I give it 10, it will return 105 to return uh, this function name is by self for example I have to name the project fun any name just a name for the project so if I go here if I type any value equal by self so 10 multiplied by 10 is 105 by 5 is 25 in the same concept, you can add double. So if I need to add a double function, so function by two. <laughs> so this function also take one value and it will return the value multiplied by two. If I type here anything else than X, I have to type it here also. So now I can start using this function. So by two. So 25 by 2 is 50. Uh, let's add a little bit complicated one, which take a number and sum the bar. So if I give it 5, it sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is 15. This function is, is not a complicated one, but it requires... Of course, you can create a function that takes two values. X and Y. And this function will return x multiply by y so this function name is by by any name so equal by by 5 comma 25 so 125, which is multiply 5 by 25. Now let's go to the uh, a loop function. So we need to create a function that sum the value of the parts of a number. I'm going to call this one sum of parts. This function will take only one value, which is a start value. This function requires a result, so I'm going to create a variable call it result and this variable is equal to zero now I, I will use four four requires three information a start value end value and a stop value so we will start by zero by one because I need to sum one plus two plus three plus four plus five and so on semicolon and the end is this value the value of start is must be less than or equal to the value I take in the function. So here start, so here start also. And my step is x equal x plus one. So if I start by one, the next value will be two, three, till I reach the value here. Four is a function, so I have to open a curly bracket and, and close it. For this function name, I have to open also a curly bracket and close the curly bracket. Inside four, 
my result will be result plus x so 0 plus 1 is 1 then we have 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 then we have 3 so 3 plus 3 is 4 and at the end we have to return the result that's it so if I save sum of parts so if I go here equal sum of parts 5 is supposed to be 15 100 is supposed to be 5050 and so on that's it